the Bayelsa State uh, chapter of the People's Democratic Party has derided the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, Adam Soshomale, following his allegations that the PDP was stockpiling arms ahead of the November 16 governorship election. The state uh, chairman of the PDP, Moses Cleopas, said in a statement on Sunday that the APC chairman and other leaders of the APC were making allegations as a plot to justify deployment of soldiers to rig the forthcoming gubernatorial elections in the state. Moses Cleopas said that the people of the state would resist any attempt by the APC to deploy soldiers to rig the gubernatorial elections. Earlier, we have in the studio uh, Michelle Agatise, who's a legal practitioner, and he reacted to this issue. We're having uh, these uh, back and forth. What do you make of this allegation at this time? Well, they are weighty allegations. They are weighty allegations. And for me, I think that when you make allegations of this nature, um, there is a responsibility, if they are true, for you to follow them up by making the appropriate reports to the FCC, the NFIU, the police, as the case may be, with the evidence that you have. Now, if it is the situation where you are just making these allegations as a political move ahead of the elections, then I think it's also impetus on the government, not only that's the PDP now, not only to come out and deny these allegations, but maybe to even take it a step further by suing for defamation or something of the like. Because I think um, for a person in the capacity as a commissioner of finance in a state to be said to have super intended illegality of 17.5 billion naira, and if that is not true, then that's something that can actually tarnish one's image. Now, that's just the on the face of it. We live in Nigeria, and we know that our election system, to a large extent, is not what it's supposed to be. It's broken. And because it's broken, we see instances like this happening. And it is not shock value when we hear these allegations anymore because we have become so accustomed to it. And I think it goes back to the thing I was talking about earlier. When these things happen, what would we do about it? We have this short attention span in Nigeria. It will shock you that two weeks from today, nobody will remember that this allegation of 17.5 billion was made. Again, it depends on the evidence that's available. Um, I think for a political party, ordinarily, for a political party to come out and make allegations of this nature, they shouldn't make it without having evidence. So I want to believe that they have some evidence. I want to believe is the key phrase there. And if they do have that evidence, then I don't see why it should take forever. Don't forget, but, there's, there's, sorry to interrupt yes. you, there is a counter allegation that yeah, there's stockpiling arms, uh, arms. And then they are also flipping it on the head yes. and saying uh, the APC is trying to find an excuse yes. to regain the um, uh, military. I mean, get, uh, the military yes. in would you say all of this yes. is strategy by these parties not it's, just one it's possible that it's strategy and it's also possible that it's strategy that is grounded in something that's fact. possibly happening in fact so that, that that's my concern so whether it's strategy is really not my business what's my business is that are there illegalities going on are people stockpiling arms what happens after the elections we just talked about kidnapping who do these guns go to? Isn't it the kidnappers that these guns go to? Who is this money going to if, in fact, such money is being diverted for the purpose of elections? And if money is not being diverted for the purpose of elections, then someone should be made to face the consequences for making allegations of such a nature that people's commonwealth is being used in this manner. And if, in fact, money is being um, misappropriated. It's not just about the election, because even beyond the election, whenever it comes to fall that this has happened, and I'm sorry, I feel like it's a situation of something standing on nothing. Of course, there are issues with you know the time within which you can bring your election petitions, but I think we need to look at the bigger picture. It's not about this election. It's the fact that 17.5 billion that could be used for hospitals, that could have been used for healthcare, that could have been used for roads, that could have been used for basic amenities are being utilized in a way that just shows that people do not care about the people that they are supposed to govern if it is true. And if it is not true, it's also problematic that someone can wake up in the morning and call out a government, a sitting government and say that they are superintending over the affairs of the state in such a manner that can actually lead to chaos. People can rise up and protest about this. So mm -hmm. we need to all be responsible. I think that's, that's the takeaway. Thank you very much no, for sharing you. your thoughts on thank the you. news.